Last winter I installed one of those tip-out storage trays in the, in the front panel of the vanity in my bathroom and we've had it for almost a year now. It's been great. Uh, it's, it's a great way to reclaim some otherwise unusable storage, but there's, a, there's been two problems that we've found as we've been using it. The first is that the tray is just a bit too small. Um, we've got a long panel and we really could use like another five, six inches on the edge of the tray. And the other problem, and the more important problem, is that every now and then as the, uh, as the panel snaps closed, things can jump out of the tray. So in addition to making it longer, I want to make it just a bit thicker and we want the front edge to be just a little bit taller, which should hopefully take care of things jumping out of the tray. We'll just trace the tray to get the height because the height is fine. For the back I've got a thin piece of plywood and I made that the same height as the factory original tray. For the front I've got another piece of plywood that's just a half inch taller, just a little bit taller. Uh, the bottom is also going to be made out of plywood but I'll wait until it's all together and then I'll just cut it to fit. So the next thing I need to do is I'm going to make the ends. And uh, this plywood is pretty thin so I'm going to make the ends out of a slightly thicker piece of solid wood that'll give me something to glue and screw into. So now I'll take the side piece and I'll use that to figure out the proper width of the base. So a little bit of lacquer and we have our tray and just to compare it, you can see it's about six inches longer and if you look at them, well here actually, let's do it like this, look like that, you can see it's just a little bit taller on the top. So let's go get it installed, put it in here. Lots of room now.